Hello. Enjoying a hike on the Independence Trail. Nice day today for a hike. This is a wheelchair accessible trail, one of the few in the area. Very nice trail. And here we have the river overlook built by the telephone pioneers of Grass Valley area. the river down there. I knew Fred Orzelli. I worked for the phone company and that's his son, Thomas. This follows an old flume that used to feed the hydraulic monitors for the uh, hydraulic mining in the area. This is a really interesting part of the trail. There's Cache Creek down there, flowing into the South Yuba River. There's the wooden switchback down here. Roots your access down to the creek. But unfortunately, it's in disrepair and it's closed right now. It's been safe. Riding away, nobody's taking care of it. Little picnic area here, which is in disrepair also. A 
And I think the rest of them have seen better days. Much better. A little filter here, in case we get caught in the rain. This we're about almost two miles in from the, from the trailhead. And there's the river down there, the South Yuba River, with a crossing way over there in the distance. Let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Yeah, there's a crossing there where Highway 49 crosses. And here's the end of the trail. That's Jones Bar Road there. Let's see what this sign says. Oh, it doesn't say anything about Independent Trail. End of trail. And nothing on the other side. Oh well, time to head back. About two and a half miles from Highway 49. So, we just over a five mile run trip today. And here's where we get back to the car. A very low bridge under the highway. You see how low it is. Here's the highway.